Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of celebration. This is good news. This is reunions. This is friendships, going out, having a good time, being in high spirits. There could be good news that you're receiving here. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy, the Knight of, the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Page of Swords air energy. So someone has been watching you. Someone has been thinking a lot about you. And they're very curious about you. With the Page of Swords, they could be looking at your social media, asking friends about you, getting readings on you. But this is someone who has a genuine curiosity in what you've been doing and what you've been up to. And with the, with the Page of Swords, they're watching you with the intention to reach out. So they're waiting for the right time. We do also have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this is someone who's eager to make their way back into your life. So we do have have that reunion energy with the three of cups so this is someone who may want to reunite with you reconnect with you somewhere along the line you guys may have lost touch or you know things fizzled out so there's just this energy of separation or distance between you um but this is someone who is wanting to communicate with you um because they are genuinely interested in how you're doing and what you're doing um and they do want to reconnect with you okay so let's clarify these cards uh, aries Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So there is definitely an energy here of someone communicating with you. A lot of communication coming in at once because this is someone who has been waiting for their moments and opportunity to come in. Um, they are they have a lot they want to get off their chest. It looks like it, it may be a lot that's said in one, in one go here. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Six of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so there's again an energy of initiating contact with the Page of Wands. This is something that they've been going back and forth about doing with the Two of Pentacles. And it looks like they're going to eventually take that leap of faith. They're going to take action towards you. Um, the Six of Cups is here. So you, you, this is someone you know. This is someone you have history with. It looks like they are remembering you a lot lately. They are um, reminiscing or they're feeling, they are feeling nostalgic where you're concerned. Um, this is someone who does actually um, have a bit of a soft spot for you. They remember you fondly. You know, this is why they're coming towards you because they do want to make their way into your life again. And um, there's a sweet energy that they're coming with. So this is someone who may be very uh, sweet when they approach you, very affectionate um, because they still feel very, you know, emotionally connected to you. And they they genuinely just miss you. It does look like you're heavily on this person's mind. OK, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, uh, Aries. Okay, we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Okay, so they could be wanting to initiate a new romantic cycle with you. They are ready to start something here with you. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you.
Okay, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they could be remembering the good times that you shared. They may also view you as an innocent person, a fun person. There's a playful, light-hearted energy there. They are remembering the good times that you shared. And um, they kind of want to recapture that. They, they want to experience that with you again. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. Okay, we have beauty and happiness. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. So it looks like this person, you'll always kind of have that special place in their heart. Your your beauty could never fade in this person's eyes. You know, it's, there's this uh, permanent kind of energy about their connection to you. Um, they do see you as someone who just thinking about you makes them happy. It brings them joy. They, they remember a lot of the good times. Um, and they, they, they genuinely remember you fondly. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Aries. Okay, we have Surrender to Play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So there's a heavy energy here of playfulness, doing something light, remembering the, the, the more light-hearted times, good times. So they may even want to invite you to do something fun, um, light-hearted. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.